Gatwick contacted us earlier this week and in the light of this unprecedented uh, breakout of COVID in the tower in London where only 30% of them have actually come down with COVID. The other 70% apparently are unable to cope with these volumes of flights and they asked us to cancel some flights this week and we politely told them to fuck off. We're not cancelling flights. It's their uh, ATC system and it's up to them to probably call in some of the other 70% who are not suffering from COVID to cover the system. Like, it's just bullshit. Uh, but it is part of the kind of sh- Nats short staffing and mismanagement we've come to expect from Martin Rolf, and how he continues to get away with it is a mystery to us other than when you look at the board of uh, Nats here in the UK, uh, you're going to love this one. This is the taken directly from the Nats website. I encourage you all to go on the Nats website. It is reading, uh, it is wonderful reading. Our leadership team. There is an amazing group of people in the Nats board and executive teams who dedicate themselves to the company's purpose, goals and success when they're not suffering from fucking COVID and sitting at home watching daytime television. The chairman of Nats is a guy called Paul Goldby. Where did he come from? Ex-Eon, a regulated utility. They have two executive directors, Martin Rolfe and the CFO, Alistair Borthwick. I don't know Alistair Borthwick, but Martin Rolfe is incompetent and should be sacked. Non-executive directors, Maria Antonio. Where did she come from? Eon, another regulated uh, electricity supplier. Dr. Richard Keyes, where did he come? The Department of Transport. Ian McDonald, CBE. Oh, no, CB, CBE. I don't know if that's a typo or maybe he's just a double CBE. He comes from the Ministry of Defence. Michael Campbell, who's appointed by EasyJet. Dr. Harry Bush, CB, CBB, BB. He came from the CAA. He was the head of regulatory affairs in the CAA for about 10 or 15 years, where he accomplished absolutely fucking nothing and was utterly useless. Gavin Merchant, who represents the University Superannuation Fund. Uh, Hugh McConnell represents EasyJet. Louise Street represents British Airways. And Catherine Leahy represents Heathrow. It is just a fucking collection of the great and the good of British aviation presiding over uh, rewarding Martin Rolfe, whose pay in 2022 was uh, 700,000 and in 2023 has risen to 1.3 million uh, over that period of time when Nats managed to lose uh, 50 million two years ago and 27 million last year. He doubled his pay package. He should be taken out and dismissed. He's useless. He's incompetent. Uh, he has presided over not just one, uh, a, a complete system failure in Gatwick on the 28th and 29th of August, but continues to preside over uh, staff shortages. And it's not that they don't have money. You know, I looked at their accounts uh, last evening. In 2022 was the last set of accounts they published. Total revenues from Na- uh, for Nats were uh, £750 million sterling. Total staff costs were £435 million sterling. So they have about £300 million spare uh, when they're not providing for financing costs, uh, fair value movement on financial instruments and paying out dividends to the UK government and the UK airlines. Uh, hire some more fucking staff and try and provide us with an acceptable... We pay Nats over £100 million a year and all we get is system collapses, uh, short staffing, and then they write out to us uh, and ask us to cancel flights. No, thank you, we're not cancelling flights. They're going uh, and we expect them to land in Heathrow. Uh, and I, those of you who investigated the Nats collapse or read the bullshit Nat, Nats report into its own mismanagement of its collapse on the 28th and 29th of August, we find it in, incredible that the Nats system collapsed, the Nats backup system was running on the same computer, so guess what, that collapsed, the backup system collapsed when the main system collapsed, their engineers who were designed to restore the system weren't on site because they were working remotely in order to save their travel time, which means... The fire brigade is all sitting at home when your house is on fire. And it is redolent of the kind of mismanagement you get from uh, commander of the British Empire's ex-CAA, bewildered Department of Transport and Ministry of Defence punter sitting on the board. And it seems about the only useful thing they do any year is double Martin Ross remuneration for his piss-poor performance. Uh, it has always been the UK. Uh, yeah, the UK ATC network is by far and away the least productive, most inefficient of the European ATCs. The French, to be fair, is pretty good when it's not on strike. Now that's not setting the bar very high, uh, but the issue with them is they've you know, they've gone on strike 63 days this year already, complaining about Macron's pension reforms, and which have now been imba- gone through anyway. Uh, 